Hi guys. Well, it can't make up its mind whether it wants to be a beautiful day or a cloudy, gloomy day. Here in the end times, where it is 64 degrees at 1 o'clock in the afternoon here on uh, Thursday, September 2nd. 2021 and uh, the little dog and I were heading to Syracuse New York uh, we are making a what is it uh, 110 mile round trip to buy a fucking uh, beat up old washer and dryer off of Craigslist Jesus things I find myself doing to uh, bring <coughs> the uh, Hambone Hilton and Bugs in a Jar farm into the 21st century. Getting a washer and dryer. And anyone bitching at me for getting a dryer. You can't dry fucking clothes in upstate New York anymore. You know, good fucking God put up with this shit. It's supposed to be... Uh, they were saying at 9 o'clock this morning, the forecast was for bright blue sky and sunshine all day long, which it was at 9 o'clock. And then within an hour, it turned into this shit. Uh, but you know, I guess I should not be complaining about living in New York and uh, just dealing with a few cloudy skies. My fucking God. Uh, looking at those damn pictures from New York City and Philly and New Jersey and all that. Jesus, what was it? Nine people drowning in New York City last night and nine fucking people drowning in a flash flood in New York City as, as New York takes a hell of a lot bigger beating in the summer of 2021 than uh, Florida. I, you know, I'm, I'm trying to enjoy the sick, twisted humor of the situation uh, that my place in New York is being a lot more threatened uh, by hurricanes than my place in Florida. You know, and now there's some other big fucking, who's the next one, Larry? coming up here, but at least my goddamn flood insurance kicks in on Saturday. My $600 a year flood insurance here in New York to keep from being washed down the, at least not if, but when my house is flooded, I'll get a few dollars back. So, but I'm already, you know, adding up the, the cost of climate change in my life, in, in the past one month, in addition to the $600 uh, flood insurance uh, that I'm now paying, the $600 a year flood insurance with the $500 deductible uh, on it, you pay $600 to buy a $500 deductible uh, on the flood insurance. So. I just had a fellow out here, so, you know, I'm talking about building a, uh, a flood, uh, a flood control channel in my backyard, because where I get flooded is actually from my front yard, so I'm trying to, you know, route the fucking flood waters through my backyard to keep from getting flooded through the front yard, so this dude came out yesterday, his estimate was two thousand five hundred dollars is what he was going to charge me to uh you know to dig out a floodway and build a levee uh in my backyard uh twenty five hundred dollars so i talked to this fellow today who just works by the hour two hundred dollars an hour two hundred fucking dollars an hour so i said just you know, i'm gonna hire this dude for five hours, just do what you can do for one thousand fucking dollars to dig me a floodway and build a levee. So, uh, 
that's one thousand dollars I'm gonna pay to make this big fucking ugly muddy mess in my backyard so a thousand dollars there uh, six hundred dollars for the flood insurance so up until today I had already had two people cancel uh, their Airbnb reservations over uh, Hurricane it wasn't Fred. Fred's the one that almost flooded me. It was Hurricane Henri or whatever that fucking one. The H one. Uh, I guess we're now on the I one. So the F one, the H one, and the I one. Three out of the... I don't. Whatever happened to the Hurricane G this year? Uh, Fred, Henri, and Ida slamming into New York. So I've already had two cancellations going into today for my Airbnb from people who live in uh, New York City. Uh, so today, uh, these people canceled. They live in New Jersey and they were looking forward to coming up and having a relaxing night next to the Babbling Brook and the tiny house next to the Babbling Brook. Just got an email from them uh, that their house was completely fucking flooded out last night. This woman says she grabbed her cats and she and her husband fled into the night. They grabbed the fucking cats, fled into the night. Their, uh, their house is flooded this morning. And needless to say, that was the end of the, uh, that was the end of the uh, <laughs> their little trip to the to bugs in a jar farm. So I've had three cancellations uh, in the past three weeks. So that's pretty much two hundred and eighty dollars out. I mean, a hundred and eighty dollars. No, it's two hundred dollars. Is a hundred hundred and ninety five dollars. I have lost an in income. Uh, so we call it $200 in lost income in the last three weeks, uh, buying flood insurance, $1,000, uh, so $1,800 uh, I have spent in the past three weeks uh, dealing with these fucking hurricanes in New York. I'm a fucking climate refugee moving from this floodplain in goddamn Texas. Of course, Garfield, Texas, totally fine. Totally fine. Uh, this year, there has been no flooding anywhere near Garfield, Texas this year. And so I sell my house in Garfield, Texas uh, by one place in New York and another place in Florida. My place in Florida is fine. And uh, I have barely dodged three bullets now in the past three weeks. So even though I have dodged three bullets and the Hambone Hilton hasn't had a drop of water in it, you know, still $1,800 out of my fucking pocket in the last three weeks because of this shit. And, uh, and, and I guess I'm supposed to be feeling grateful. You know, this whole thing, uh, that there's always somebody worse off than you are. Hell, we got nine people floating down the fucking river uh, in New York uh, last night from these goddamn flash floods. And I mean, there's goddamn pictures of New York City. And this thing did not come from the ocean like Sandy did. Uh, I, mean, I, mean, I mean, this bitch, uh, Ida, well, you know where she came from. Good fucking God. I, I mean, New York City looks almost like New Orleans. And, uh, have you seen those goddamn pictures of, uh, what do you call it, wherever it made landfall port? F O U S A F U S H A or whatever. So, where. Ida slammed into, I guess, controls is where it's the nerve center of 90% of the offshore oil drilling in uh, 
in the Gulf of Mexico, you know, it, where right where Ida's land, have you seen those fucking pictures? I mean, there's all of these uh, oil rig support vessels literally upside down floating around, these giant oil tanks flipped over, oil spilling all over there, and the number one story on the planet, uh, the, the, this damn oil rig, this oil pouring out of this, uh, out of this damn oil rig. Uh, out in the Gulf of Mexico, you know, they're saying we have no way to even reach it. Uh, they, they can't even get out there as oil comes pouring out of this fucking oil rig in the in, in the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, I mean, Jesus Christ! And uh, here comes Larry. If and there's, I guess Kate is out there somewhere. You know, so I guess I'm supposed to be glad. Uh, I am supposed to be grateful, and I am grateful. Uh, this is the new definition of good news. Of good news is when you live in New York and uh, hurricanes uh, and flooding from hurricanes only cost you $1,800 out of your pocket. That is something to celebrate uh, here in the end times. Uh, that you only spent one thousand eight hundred dollars on the, the. This is uh, averaging six hundred dollars per hurricane, and uh, and and it's September second, and with more on the way. You know, I've, I've been predicting it's going to be Hurricane Sam. Uh, when we get to the S's, my guess, September 22nd, which is my birthday, that Hurricane Sam will slam into uh, the Hambone Hilton and put the Hambone Hilton five feet underwater. Uh, I can't build this flood, you know, this uh, flood channel and levee. I can't even get that job done till late October, till the very end of hurricane season. So I still have to get through this hurricane season uh, with whatever levees and flood control channels I already have back out there, which so far have managed to hold the water. Uh, the water at bay, but it, it was, I mean, that flood channel, the way it is now, was already there uh, the last time my house flooded in 2018, that the flood still came from downstream, uh, no matter how many fucking flood control channels and levees I have upstream, fucking house still flooded from downstream, so who the fuck knows, man. Uh, but at least I have a washer and dryer in, in my future, and, uh, and 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 this is it, guys. I, I mean, this is th this is fucking it. Uh, from here on out, uh, your goddamn climate change, your climate refugee, moving from Texas to upstate New York, which you know, as I was reporting, upstate New York is still. Uh, about the safest refuge from climate change uh, left in the U.S. that this is one of the uh, safest spots. I'm coming into Syracuse, New York. Syracuse being one of the safest places. Now, of course, guys, I do live in a floodplain. Uh, now, 12 out of my 14 acres are not in a floodplain, but uh, you know where my house is is in a floodplain. So you still need to put an asterisk, even if you move to fucking upstate New York. Uh, if you're buying a house in a fucking floodplain, you're fucked. It's 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 not a matter of if. Uh, it's a matter of when. Uh, I'm going to be making a flood insurance claim and deciding uh, whether to 
he, you know, fix this beat up old cabin, which has already been underwater for at least four times, or just move to higher ground. Uh, I guess we'll figure that out as it goes along, but uh, anybody who thinks that you can move to fu the safest fucking place and uh, get out of this fucking stress, think again. Oh, Jesus. are coming into Syracuse, New York. This is actually the old Indian settlement of Onondaga. Is that how you pronounce it? Oh, Onondaga. Onondaga is uh, what Syracuse used to be called. I'm assuming this is the Iroquois tribes lived up here. Uh, in this area, the Onondagas of the Iroquois. I wonder how many, I mean, I don't know. I, I honestly don't know how many times the Iroquois tribes were, uh, were washed down the river by hurricanes. Uh, is that anything that they had to worry about was, uh, were hurricanes? Uh, But I'm, I mean, we're, we're just completely fucked. I mean, just everywhere you fucking look anymore, it's like, you know, why the fuck uh, do I even have to do this? The goddamn mainstream media, uh, what was Al Gore uh, writing in his book, The Future? Uh, when, when did Al Gore write The Future? In 2001. Uh, 20 fucking years ago, Al Gore talking about uh, how reading the mainstream media news headlines was like taking a Sunday walk through the book of Revelation. Jesus fucking Christ. That was 20 years ago, Al. Uh, welcome to 2021. Uh, you talk about the fucking book of Revelation. Live in goddamn New York City or New Orleans or fucking uh, Ta Lake Tahoe or Kabul or fucking Haiti or what, the book of Revelations. Uh, you don't need to read the fucking Bible. You need to look out the fucking window. Uh, anybody. Uh, trying to fucking tell me we're not in the end times. You know? <laughs> Jesus. Uh, you know, the, the, the fucking worst case scenario that I was talking about from up here on that fucking rock ten years ago, uh, this is already worse than my own doomsday prophet worst case scenarios. You know, I thought I would move to fucking New York uh, to get away from the floods and the hurricanes and the wildfires and all of this shit. And uh, I'm sure I'm, I'm amazed that goddamn wildfire smoke uh, isn't already here in Syracuse, New York. My guess, you know, it, that hurricane probably helped blow out the wildfire smoke. My guess is that tomorrow, uh, that that fucking wildfire smoke is, is going to blow in to, uh, to fucking Syracuse, New York. Uh, Jesus. Cakewalking through the book of Revelation, it will be revealed, it is being revealed how fucked we are. Uh, the great revelation is being revealed uh, everywhere you fucking look. Uh, what else out there? You know, just reading, reading this goddamn article this morning about the, the seagrass in uh, 
in Florida. Uh, now, seagrass is kind of like Florida's version of a kelp for the kelp forest. You know, that's what the manatees feed on. That more manatees, that the manatees are they're simply starving to death. I mean, they're already dealing. Uh, with fucking getting hit by boats and red tide and all of this shit. But now these, uh, the number one cause of death of manatees in Florida is they're fucking starving to death as they, you know, the seagrass beds that they graze on are, are just, are just fucked. Uh, uh, the sea, the, they're just fucked. Uh, the fucking manatees. Uh, have nothing to fucking eat. The whales are starving. The manatees are starving. Uh, what else? You know, there's some big study coming out that 30%, 30% of the planet's tree species are getting ready to head into oblivion. Uh, it said you add up all of the birds, mammals, reptiles, and amphibians on the planet that are getting ready uh, to go extinct and dwarfed by the number of tree species uh, headed towards uh, the chopping block uh, as the end times just unroll. Here I am in the shithole town. I, it's unbelievable how quickly in Syracuse, how you go from being in uh, the middle of the woods to the middle of uh, this shithole town. Syracuse, New York. What a fucking hellhole. Jesus Christ. Water. Town, New York. That's another one. Love that name, Watertown. I think they ought to name New York City Watertown. Watertown's another one of these fucking hell holes that needs to go under fucking water. office building in this in this shit hall. At least they have a Bank of America here, which is more than I can say of uh, Ithaca, New York. You will not find a Bank of America in the city of Ithaca. You gotta come to fucking Syracuse. Find Bank of America. Anyway, I gotta get back to paying attention to my uh, fucking driving so I don't make a wrong turn trying to go find my washer and dryer so I can have clean sheets so at least my Airbnb guests drowning in a hurricane can drown in clean sheets since my entire life has now become a sheet changer. Although it looks like I won't be changing any sheets tomorrow night because I have no business in the tiny house tonight. So I get to sleep in my own tiny house. I suggest you get out there and enjoy sleeping in your own tiny house while you still can because we are so fucked. Bye, guys.